Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the Dell Inspiron 3501. My laptop is an accent black and has an 11th generation Intel Core i3 processor, 4GB of RAM, and a 256GB solid state drive. First, let's take a look at the design. I really like the textured plastic since it adds more grip to the laptop. The accent black color is similar to a rock since it looks and feels like one. I like this color since it's not as dark as other black laptops. If you own a lifetime plastic table, then the texture is similar to the plastic on the laptop. On the left side, there's a power port, HDMI port, Ethernet port, two USB ports, and a headphone jack. On the right side, there's an SD card slot, USB port, and a lock slot. On the bottom, you'll find the speakers and air vents. Opening the laptop reveals the 15.6 inch anti-glare display, the keyboard, and touchpad. I really love Dell's anti-glare displays since I can easily use my laptop on a bright day. While filming my unboxing video, I had two lights pointed at the laptop and the screen was still visible. On the top of the display, there's a camera and microphone. So, here's a video and audio test on the Dell Inspiron. 3501 and I think the video quality and audio quality is really good so it's great for answering video calls for online work or online class or if you just want to connect with your family. The keyboard is easy to use since the keys have a bit of space between them. Here's what it sounds like while typing. There's also a number pad which is useful for calculating. The keyboard does not light up, but as expected at this price. Next to the keyboard is the touchpad. I think the touchpad is large enough for basic usage and system navigation using gestures. I'm not going to review the features of Windows 10 since Windows 11 is coming soon, and there are a lot of reviews of Windows on YouTube. So, how is the laptop in use? I've been using this Dell Inspiron instead of my personal laptop for doing basic tasks and it performs really well. When I first unboxed it, I was amazed at the display and speaker quality. It's great for watching videos or movies. In terms of performance, the laptop powers on and loads programs quickly because it has a solid state drive and Intel Core i3 processor. I even played Subnautica on it and it performed really well. The graphics aren't as good as my more expensive Dell laptop but for this price, it can easily handle light games such as Minecraft. The only downside is that the battery drains quickly when gaming, since it uses a lot of power to run games. Here's a Geekbench 5 score so you can compare it to your own devices. One of my favorite things about this laptop is that it's so light and easy to carry because it's made of plastic. So, should you buy this laptop? Well, if you need a laptop for basic use like entertainment or for work, or school, then yes, I think the Dell Inspiron 3501 will easily fit your needs. If you're looking for a more powerful laptop, then you can check out my Dell Inspiron 5502 review. I'll leave the link in the description. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Feel free to leave a comment or question down below. Please like and subscribe for more and to help support my channel. So, thanks for watching.